today I've been tackling some of the planting up jobs so some of the things that are in the greenhouse uh, are now planted so I'm sitting out uh, by the uh, the canes that I put in about a month ago now actually and I ummed and ahed whether they would have runner beans or the Greek gigantes and I changed my mind backwards and forwards well my mind was made up uh, very simply for me uh, because the Greek gigantes beans had got so tall uh, they desperately needed to get into the ground having tried yesterday uh, to get the canes into the ground uh, over by the potatoes and failed dismally because the ground is just too hard and I then tried uh, a couple of places in the veg garden and likewise the ground was just too rock solid to, to get the canes in in fact they weren't canes it's the the hazel poles and then this morning I thought well oh, perhaps if I try with a bamboo cane which is much thinner I might be able to get some in the ground uh, so I have managed to get I've managed to start putting up a framework that I will use for the runner beans and the Greek gigantes have indeed gone into the ground uh, in the framework that I'd already made. While I was planting them uh, I made a wonderful discovery which is uh, beneath this layer of um, duck bedding which is uh, chopped rapeseed straw uh, and as I've cleaned out the duck houses I'll just put the bedding on here but beneath this It's deep, uh, <laughs> rich and crumbly and it's moist and look how lovely this is. I'm so excited by this. Uh, last year uh, I put in some shop bought compost and wood chippings. Um, so much as I've done this year, uh, I've mostly, fill mostly filled it up with wood chippings and then uh, cut out furrows which I filled with compost and this is what I've got. It's super. I'm just, I'm so excited by it. Uh, it is only one bed uh, and there's many more beds to go but that's great news. So there are still quite a few canes uh, that don't have any plants at them uh, but uh, I have the remainder of my seeds. Uh, now from memory uh, I have actually got enough to put two seeds uh, at every cane um, and what I did when I planted is I've planted all the, all the plants that have grown so far uh, on the inner canes and these will go on the canes on the outer edges which means that the ones on the inside uh, will get a chance to grow away uh, before these catch up with them. Uh, so I store my seeds uh, in paper envelopes and as you can see, uh, I write what they are and uh, the year that I've collected them. And uh, Greek Gigantes beans are, uh, as the name suggests, uh, they are gigantic. Um, the beans themselves are uh, dried out. Uh, they are about an inch by half an inch uh, and well over a quarter of an inch fat uh, and with Greek Gigantes uh, you don't eat the green pod like you do with the runner bean you just leave the pods on the plant you don't pick them throughout the year and you just leave them to maturity uh, and then and then you harvest the bean uh, from the middle of the pod and that's the bit that you eat these are by far the nicest beans uh, we've ever had uh, I thought bolotti beans were superb, so I grew masses of bolotti beans last year and then we tasted these and uh, we've still got an awful lot of bolottis left in the freezer. So I'm not planning to grow any bolotti beans this year. Uh, I do have the seeds that I can grow next year uh, if we've run out by then. So now I'm going to put two seeds uh, at the base of each cane that doesn't have a plant on it and get all of the Greek gigantes into the ground. When I had planned to put runner beans in this bed, uh, I was going to plant uh, marigold uh, and or calendula uh, down the sides of it to attract pollinators. Uh, but uh, it's quite a large space. 
and I think there's enough room there uh, to pop in a couple of our squash plants uh, and to put the marigolds uh, over both the runner beans uh, when I actually plant those ones. So I've chosen two spaghetti squash uh, to go into this bed and they will grow uh, from the bed, hope, hopefully I'll be able to get them to grow from the bed uh, towards the back of the uh, vegetable garden because then they'll be growing uh, across this six foot wide path uh, and they can go over the next raised bed which is four feet wide and then another path and then another bed uh, that's also not being used so they've got quite a big space uh, to be able to grow and scramble. I think that's a really good use uh, of the extra space in this bed um, and obviously uh, of that lovely soil. And uh, before I plant them, uh, they need a really good drink because this soil is really dry. Uh, it's not a good idea uh, to transplant plants when the soil is dry because it just stays dry. Our weather forecast says uh, that the nighttime temperatures are not going below 10 uh, until June the 9th or 10th. Uh, and not to say that they're going <laughs> below that then, it's just that that's as far as the weather forecast goes. Uh, so I'm fairly confident now that we're past the last frosts, uh, so I'm happy about planting these out. I mean, you can see, <laughs> you can see the size they are. Uh, they're a good sized leaf and hopefully these will just romp away. I've never grown squashes uh, up canes or up supports before um, and I'd love some advice. If you've done it and you've done it successfully, uh, please let me know what you did. Uh, I don't have cattle panels available. Um, we may well order something that's similar to a cattle panel. I haven't found any cattle panels here in the UK so if you know uh, of any suppliers of uh, those 16 foot by 4 foot cattle panels uh, like they show in the American vlogs uh, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, what I have spotted is some 8 by 4s that look like they would be suitable if I then uh, join them together to make a, a really long panel to make an archway uh, which I may well do. Uh, but so yes if you know if you know of any UK suppliers that do sell the 16 foot cattle panels I, I'd love to hear about it. And also, uh, could you tell me how you've got on with growing uh, squashes up a support? Uh, whether that's a trellis or a tripod or just scrambling over a wall, uh, please let me know what you've done because uh, I really fancy uh, trying to grow some vertically. I know Monty Don did it last year up uh, some, some really sturdy hazel poles, which if I could get the hazel poles into the ground, uh, I might do. Uh, but I've got I've got masses and masses of squashes and I have got the space uh, so I think it would be good to just try that. Well that's it for today. I'm heading inside to make us some supper. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.